Yung palakpak para sa ating dakilang Diyos. Come on, hallelujah. And shout to the Lord. Oh, we worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Magandang gabi po sa lahat ng ating mga kapatid, sa ating mga kamanggagawa, at sa lahat ng ating mga delegates for this uh, Region 1 Evangelism Summit. Thank you, Pastor Jimmy Solit, ating National World Missions Director, at sa lahat ng membro ng ating National World Missions Committee. And we are thankful, mga batid, sa opportunity na ipinagkaloob ng Diyos sa ating lahat. Last Evangelism Summit, doon pa tayo sa church ni Pastor Eugene at nag-warning ang ating Region 1 na hindi na kayo magkasya doon. Pagdating natin dito, hindi na rin magkasya. <laughs> Saan kaya tayo sa sunod? <laughs> Amen. Okay, kung bawat pastor magdala lang ng 20 leaders... And that's supposed to be. Because the seminar is not complete without your church leaders. We need leaders in the local church that will assist us in winning the lost. Clap your hands to Jesus. And let's sing, give Him praise. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord before we uh, read the words of the Lord. Salamat po sa ating uh, uh, Region 1 Assistant Superintendent to host this uh, summit. Amen. At sa ating uh, Region 3, Pastor Mario Pistanio. At the same time, our Vice President, Pastor Nomer, our General Treasurer, Pastor Picar, our General Secretary. Amen. Not only a secretary, but a worshiper for the Lord. Man, that's what we need. Worshippers in the kingdom of God. And to all the members of our executive board, Pastor Edwin Pellegrino from Central Luzon District, Pastor Roland Rosari from NCR. I, I want to say this. He is my district presbyter. And I am submitting myself to him. And to my region one, he is my boss in this region. It doesn't matter what position you have. You need to submit to authority all the time. <laughs> Dahil di inahanap ng Panginoon yung position. Sabi ni Pastor Roland kanina, yung ating submission. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ben Potts from California. South Bay, no? Bay Area. Yeah, Bay Area. Praise God. Pastor Greg Gayo from North Eastern Luzon District. Pastor Tony Mamulang, our district presbyter of this district. The host district. Praise God. Of course, ating world missions people. Salamat ng marami, musicians, singers. This is our first night and the last night. <laughs> because tomorrow, home sweet home. At sa Amerika, kay ng umaga, first night nila sa kailang preaching. Pinakinggan ko mga ambatid, the first convert in the promised land was Rahab. Oh, sabi ko, wow, gandang preaching. First convert because of the spies na kinomisyon ni Joshua na to see the land. At siya kaagad ang nagtanggap, a Gentile woman. Ginamit ng Diyos para ma-secure ang mga lingkod ng Diyos na pinadala doon. So, ngayong gabi, salamat din sa mga may bahay ng ating executive board. Amen. Salamat sa mga misis na suportado palagi. And of course, the wife of our former general superintendent, Mr. Mili Budigas, is with us. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! We give honor, mga batid, sa ating former general superintendent, and he's watching tonight. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hindi siya tumingin dito para tingnan who will be the next. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap your hands to Jesus. To all the delegates, thank you for staying awake. Antukin kayo, basta hindi kayo magpalakbak. At di kayo sisigaw, antukin kayo. But if you will promise to worship the Lord, to rejoice in the Lord, we will stay awake in the Holy Ghost and shout Amen. Galing po kami ng uh, Region 3, Mindanao. Then last week from Palawan. And this week here in Region 1. And next week will be in Region 2 in Cebu City. And after this summit, we are looking forward for our district conferences and our general conference. For tomorrow's activities, mga kapatid, Sa lahat ng mga pastors, sa lahat ng mga delegates, stay during the panel discussion. We have so many informations and instructions to be delivered tomorrow. And we want to stay, ma'am, but did, uh, active and uh, always ready for this. We have 300,000 souls baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost goal natin. Sa buong UPC Philippines for year 2024. And we believe that we can win, we can do it if we will work together. Man, hallelujah. And I like what our vice president mentioned to us when we were in Tagum and in Palawan. He said, in the board, we acted as the should be board. But when we go out, we are no longer a board, but we are a team. That's what we need. We are a team because if we belong to a team, we will work together. Hindi pwedeng manalo yung team pag ikaw na lang palaging humahawak ng bula. Buaya ang tawag sa'yo. Pass the ball. Look for the open man. And give him the chance for a free throw or three points. It's time for three points of the United Pentecostal Church of the Philippines. Sabi ng mga pastors ng LDI, yung ating Region 1 superintendent nagpaulan ng maraming three points. Sabi ni Ma'am Jima, yes. Yun ang asawa, nagsusuporta talaga. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord for the words of God. Mm, let's come to the words of the Lord. Luke chapter 10 verse 23 and 24. And he turned him and to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. 24. For I tell you, that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. Wow. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. What a blessed time. That those kings and prophets were not able to witness what we are witnessing now. What we have seen now. We are so privileged enough. And it's time to give our best to the kingdom of God. Dahil yung hindi nila nakita at nasaksiyan. Nibinigay ng Panginoon sa atin. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your powerful words. Thank you for allowing the church to witness and to see great and greater things in these last days. And we pray, Lord, that you are going to bless and to keep with your anointing tonight to celebrate your words as you bless everyone for your glory. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Clap your hands to the Lord one more time. And shout amen. God bless at makakao po na po kayong lahat. The distinguishing marks of a work of the Spirit of God. There are several dispensations or days of grace which the church of God has been under from the beginning of time. There is that under the ancient patriarchs that under the law of Moses. And there is that of the gospel of Jesus Christ under which we now are. Maraming mga dakilang bagay na masasabi natin ang ganda sa mga nangyari sa Old Testament. Tatawid sila Pastor Eugene doon sa Red Sea. Men, may umuulang mga mana for their food every day. At merong bato na dumadaloy yung tubig sa pamagitan lamang ng tungkod. And what a blessed time in the Old Testament. But if we compare mga kabatid, sa Old Testament during Moses' time under the law, huh, sabi niya Apostol Pablo walang namamatuwid doon. Dahil lahat na lumalabag sa batas, nagawa mo yung siyam na mismo yung isa, patay ka pa din. Kaya kung naabutan tayo sa law, iwan ko kung silang maiwan sa atin. Amen. Pero salamat sa biyaya ng Diyos. We are all here by the grace of God. Please help me to remind your neighbor tonight. I am here, you are here, we are all here by the grace and the mercy of our God Almighty. Oh, thank God for the grace of God. Man, thank God. This is the brightest day that ever shone and exceeds the other for particular advantages. The brightest day that shine and keep on shining to the church. This is not just, or this is not the end, but this is just the beginning. Binanggit ko kanina doon sa Calvary Tabernacle, hindi tayo magkasya doon. Kaya nagdiman ang ating host pastor, no more in Calvary. No more in number 7, Lower Poo, Burgos Street. Because that's my Bible school before. 1982. Now, we move to Supreme Hotel. Ano pa kaya ang sunod sa Supreme? Supreme na ito eh. <laughs> Super Supreme. Kita natin mga kapatid, nag-order na kanina na i-close na po ang registration. Dahil punong-puno. Ano ibig sabihin? Ano ibig sabihin? Come on, pastors! God is working in the church! Church leaders, be thankful to God! Kasama kayong lahat sa gawain ng Panginoon! And we praise the Lord for the church leaders. I encourage the pastors, bring your leaders in this kind of gathering. This is a sign of appreciation to their labor. Bring them. Send them. That they can feel that we are serious about God's business. Kaya kung magdala nga lang ng 20 ang bawat pastor, talunin na natin yung general conference. Siguro, 
Doon na tayo sa convention center, Pastor Jim. Tama pala, kung babalik tayo next year dito, parang ninerobate ang convention center. O doon tayo, magpray kayo na manatili kayong leader. Huwag <laughs> kayong pasaway doon para makasama kayo next year. Baguio Convention Center. Everybody say amen. amen. Why? Because it's shining brighter every day. Sa gawain ng Diyos, tuloy-tuloy po ito. Walang makapagpigil, walang makapaghadlang. Even the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of the living God. Come on, hallelujah. And we encourage our evangelist, Section District National, preach the word. 300 souls we need evangelists that can preach with the anointing and to win souls for the glory of God at sa lahat ng mga church leaders thank you for helping your pastor thank you for your prayer and fasting thank you for bringing visitors every Sunday this is not for the pastor. This is not for the UPC. This is for the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is for his kingdom. Hallelujah. This is not about our kingdom. This is for the kingdom of the Lord. If you believe it, clap your hands and shout yes. Come on. Hallelujah. The light is bright in shine. And we encourage our Bible school students. Sabi ng ating Panginoon, yung hinahanap ng mga propita at ng hari noon na hindi na nakita at hindi na nasasaksihan, ibibigay ko sa inyo. Hindi ang UPC ng ako dyan. Kaya huwag kayong maghanap ng milagro sa UPC. Maghanap kayo ng milagro doon sa Diyos na nagsasabi, I will give them to you. Come on, hallelujah. I feel the power of the Lord. It's time for the UPC Philippines to witness the power of God. To witness the promises of God. Oh, come on, preachers. Preachers, shout to the Lord. I want to see these things to happen in my ministry. Gusto natin ng revival? <laughs> Maghabulan tayo sa pagpakumbaba. <laughs> Hindi tayo maghabulan sino nagmamaniw ng magandang sasakyan. Sino nagsusuot ng magandang damit. Maghabulan tayo sa pagpakumbaba. Kaya sabi natin, mali yung ating leader, iwala na ang pepik itong leader. Tapos nasabi ka agad, sana ako dyan. Yung pala yung iisip mo, mali-mali na. Si David, sinakta na ng gusto. Papatayin na, pero wala tayong mabasa. Inanoy ka ka kaya ako ng Diyos. Kapag tumalis ka na dyan, ako na luopo. Instead of saying that, he just ran away. 
and still keep the high respect to King Saul. Sometimes we stay in silence, but we lose respect. I think we still possess that spirit of respect. Because we want to see that distinguishing marks of the work of the Holy Spirit. Because we know what is the Holy Spirit. Hindi siya nananahan sa mga mayayabang. Hindi siya nananahan sa mga mataas magsalita. Hindi siya nananahan sa mga tao sila na lang ang magaling. Ang inahanap ng Diyos yung mga tao kahit na sa pag maabot natin sa preaching. The most dispensation 
through, though darkened with types and figures, yet far exceeded the former, but the gospel dispensation so much exceeds the glory that it eclipses the glory of the Leo as the stars disappear when the sun rises and goes forth in his strength. Your Old Testament more on figurative. More on shadows. Through your Hackman figures and shadows na i-reveal doon kay Jesus Christ. Lahat na nakita natin mga figure at mga matin in language and everything. Everything was revealed in Christ Jesus. Kaya lalabas at ihahayag ng Panginoon. In this last days by the word of God and in the spirit of the Lord tonight. Ngipin sa ngipin, mata sa mata. But in Christ's time, man, natapos ang kautusan. Ended at Moses. But I came to give you grace. Sana po, hindi na po mapipigil na niyong pagpapala. Pero huwag po tayo magbago, mga batid. It's by the grace of God. Magpasalama tayo araw-araw sa kabutihan ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Hallelujah! And the chief thing that renders the gospel so glorious is that it is the manifestation and ministration of the Spirit. I am fully convinced that the Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit must manifest in the church. Amen. Must work strongly in the church. Amen. Example now, but in classic example. The day of Pentecost, chapter 4, chapter 5, here comes Ananias and Sapphira. Under the power of the Spirit, who indeed deny or lie, rather, they were instantly killed by the Spirit. The only power that will cleanse the church of God is the pastor and priest. With the words of God, with authority. But it will be the Spirit. Amen. To convict everyone. And to rebuke everyone. And to remind everyone. Hallelujah. It must be the Spirit of the Lord. Pastors from region. Wow. 
Thank you very much. Mga kapatiran, palapakan natin natin. Nominations, which may raise our esteem and value for it. It is called by the evangelical prophet, the acceptable year of the Lord. Then the power of the divine spirit so accompanied the ministry of the word as the thousands were converted under one sermon. When Peter preached on the day of Pentecost, around 3,000 souls were baptized in the name of Jesus. One sermon. I believe it will happen again. <laughs> it will happen again. 300,000 souls baptized in Jesus' name filled with the Holy Ghost for the whole Philippines. It is possible because we believe our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Shout amen. amen. The manner of their preaching I'm coming. It's not with the enticing words of man's wisdom. Rather, they speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Such as power and presence of God in religious assemblies has not been known since God has set up his sanctuary amongst us. He has ended glorified 
the house of his glory. Not with the enticing words of man's wisdom. I don't know if it is all right for me to say this. Walang problema mga patid sige kayo aral. Okay yun. Pero kumusta yung pag-aral natin? Kaya nga nakipagdebate si Apostol Pablo sa mga philosophers. This is now, I think, nung pandemic, sabi ko sa church, one chapter every day. Pagkatapos ng pandemic, natapos yung buong Bible. Ngayon, second time of reading the whole book, the whole Bible. And I told them, we will start in the New Testament and try your best to read the New Living Translation. Because the English there is so clear. Alam mo si Apostol Pablo, sa Romans, mga kapatid, pumunta sa mga sa Doctor of Theology and Divinity at nakipag-debate doon, Pastor Eugene. Because we think the more credentials, the more anointing. Go ahead and study. But don't forget the calling. The very purpose. Kino nag-aral kami mga batid. Sabi ko mga kapatid, nag-aral tayo dito for our personal gain. Personal consumption. Hindi para malaman ng iba na may ganito ka, ganito ka. Now, we want the anointing from the Lord. Hallelujah. And I can count on you, pastors. Sa lahat ng gumastos na masahe, pumunta rito para makinig ng ating mga leaders na nagtuturo. You will not go home empty. The Lord will bless your efforts. Do you hear me? Come on, this is not about other kingdom. This is for the kingdom of God. Kaya nalulungko tayo, Pastor Picar, minsan. May mga pastor sa'yo umati ng ibang seminar, magbayad ng 7,000. Tapos kung mag-promote tayo sa ating sariling project, at ang mahal naman yan. We need to clear this matter, ma'am, patid. I told them, I am a working superintendent. And I am a hard superintendent. And I am a strict superintendent. Doon kami sa Palawan, nag-confess ang pastor. Pastor, isurrender ko yung lisensya ko kasi tatakbo akong kapitan. Good! At least you're honest. Yung iba dyan, nagtago-tago lang. But what? We cannot allow that. Taimik kayo ah. Sabi ng pastor natin, nareceive yung memo, pumunta sa lawyer. Mr. Attorney, what can you say this? Tatakbo ako ng kagawad sa barangay namin, ang ampanya na kami, namigay na kami. Sabi niya, pastor, pili ka lang. Gusto mo lisensya o kagawad? Binding yan. Batas niyo yan. Kayo din ang approve niyan. Kayo rin magsisira. Pili ka, Pastor. Order ng task nyo yan. Lisensya mo or pagkakagawad mo. Sabi niya, magpastor ako. <laughs> Wise decision. <laughs> Kung naniwala kayo na pinili kayo ng Diyos sa sinapupunan pa, ba't kayo nalilito sa alok ng mga politisyan? In politics, there is no permanent friend. Kaya sa church. Walang permanent membro sa church. Hmm. Nakalimutan nila yung mabuti mong gawa. Ang naalala lang nila yung isang mali mo. At marami dito yan. 
Kaya sabi ko sa kanila, pag umalis ka sa park church, huwag ka nang bumalik ha. Huwag ka nang bumalik. Because we don't need you here. We need loyal people. And we need loyal pastor. Are we loyal pastors? If you are loyal to God, say praise the Lord. Because that's one of the marks of the work of the Holy Spirit. What's the next? And my message and my preaching were very plain. Rather than using clever and persuasive speeches, I relied only on the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm. I did this so you would trust not in human wisdom, but in the power of God. Oh, clap your hands to the Lord. Come on. We do not rely on our own ability. We rely on the promises and the spirit of God. I don't know if Pastor Mario mentioned again what he mentioned in Tagum and in Palawan. Evangelism, soul winning, follow the book of Acts. That's the right pattern. Kung meron mga kong kukopyahin, I would rather copy what is in the Bible. Dahil yung mga nabagong discovery, pagkasunod ng limang taon ayon, mawala na rin yun. Pero yung Biblia na natili hanggat sa pagbabalik ng Diyos. That's in the New Living Translation. Again, I will read another from the New Living Translation. 1 Corinthians 4.20 For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. Come on! If we will just talk soul winning and revival, let's put it into action. Not about talking, Mahabadid. It's time to work. It's time to apply everything para po sa karihan ng ating dakilang Panginoong Iso Kristo. Hindi na ito panahon na sige discuss anong gagawin. Let's put this into action, Mahabadid. Bukas mag-usapan natin sa panel discussion anong gagawin natin para marating natin ang tatlong libong kaluluwa sa karihan ng ating dakilang Panginoon. And I am blessed, happy to report to you. When that goal was presented to the executive board, Pastor Banyes, during his lecture, he might teach that also tomorrow. He said, when the, the chairman presented, nobody says, that's big. No, we cannot do it. Everybody jumped together. At ang ginawa ng ihating Region 1 Superintendent, tinawag niya kaagad ang mga district presbyters. At binuugo ako kaagad, ilan ang district mo, ilan ang district mo, ilan ang district mo. Kung nagkaisa ang taas, magkaisa din sa baba. And we can feel the power of unity. Yun ang tinuro kanina ng ating sub, 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 district superintendent o district presbyter ng NCR. In unity. <laughs> the marks of the Holy Spirit. United Pentecostal Church of the Philippines. And we are not only visioning the Philippines but even the whole world. Approve na po tayo sa ating worldwide evangelism, si ma'am. Batid, nung nakaraang Philippine Summit, ang theme doon, reaching the world through the Filipinos. It's time for the Filipinos to go. It's time for the missionary Filipinos to march to the foreign land. You have the greatest opportunity to be used by God to the other nations. And we are happy to tell you, 
Pastor Steve Kibasin from Thailand. Ang ganda ng sinadjis niya. Ang sabi niya, Sirs, maraming mga professionals ngayong nagkalat sa buong mundo. Meron sila mga nakausap sa kagaya sa kaila mga professional pumunta sa ibang bansa. Kagaya sa amin, na-train kami pagdating doon, na-open ang church, isa sa pinakamalaking gawain sa Thailand, mga kapatid, Filipino pastor from Baguio City Church. Ano ang sinabi niya sa amin? Marami mga professionals doon, nag-antay sila, kailan sila pa para turuan sa evangelism, turuan sa soul winning. Ibig sabihin, we are on location already. Kailangan na lang silang i-commission, mga abadid. Ibig sabihin, yung hindi nakita ng propita, hindi nakita ng hari, makikita natin yan ngayon. Hallelujah! God is preparing this church for this in-time harvest. Clap your hands to Jesus and shout hallelujah. Come on, lift up your voices. Nagantay lang sila. Kailan natin sasabing, please, come home. And then we will commission you. Kaya inibitan ko si Pastor Ben Pats. He can share tomorrow missions. Why? Because he was our first missionary under the world missions sent to Hong Kong. And from Hong Kong, he moved to USA. So he got the experience. He got the idea to share to us tomorrow. Dahil hindi lang tayo pang Pilipinas. Ko, pero kung tinawag ka sa Pilipinas, manatili ka lang. Pero kung sa Afghanistan ka tinawag, go ahead. We will pray for you. And we will support you. And we will supply all your needs. Parang lahat excited sa Afghanistan. Ha? North Korea! Kulang ng bala yung missiles nila. North Korea. South Korea lang. Tingnan nyo. Tingnan nyo mga batid ha. Pwede kong sabihin siguro Pastor Oscar. Isang Koreano. Pinuntan lang ni Pastor Nomer sa Korea. Pupunta ngayong October. Magpa-interview para makatanggap ng license from the Philippines. Sila pumupunta sa Pilipinas para ma-license. Ano yung sabihin yan mga kapatid? What do you think about that, Pastor Raymond? Pupunta ang taga-Korea magpa-interview para mabigyan ng license, Pastor Ben. At ang sabi doon ng Presbyterian Pastor na binaptahin sila ni Pastor Nomer na hirapan silang magbautismo kasi ang laki, ang late ng nangbap na yung tab. Batab! Pero nabautismuhan kahit pa paano. Anong sabi ng Presbyterian? You can use my chapel for the Philippine work. Are you excited? Are you happy? If you are excited, why not stand up and rejoice in the Lord? Come on! Come on! This is our moment. Ang dinakita ng mga hari at tropita, makikita natin ngayon. Remain standing and I am about to end the message. Jesus. Nung galing kami ni Pastor Banyes, Pastor Perez doon sa Pacific Global meeting sa Bali, Indonesia. Sabi ng taga New Zealand, kailangan namin ng missionary dito. Pilipino, sir. Pilipino pastor natin. Anong syudad yun? Willington! Are you willing? <laughs> Willington. Willington eh. 
willing to ni mamulang. God is serious. Ang hinahanap lang naman ng Diyos tayo. Are you willing to go? Biro mo yung palaw, mga kapatid. Yun ang sinuportahan natin yung sa World Missions pa ko noon. $500 including the housing, food, transportation, everything, $500 a month. Sabi ko sa kanya, is it okay? Wala naman pang dagdag, eh. okay na lang eh. <laughs> Ba't pa ko, kailan pa ba itanong yan? Pero look what the Lord had done. After one year, pinapunta niya ako for church anniversary. 150 in attendance. <laughs> Hindi lang Pilipino, may mga islander nandoon pumunta. Sinabi ko yan kay Sir Mangon. Sir, we send missionaries. How much? The support, 500. We will send more Filipinos. Because they can survive for 500 dollars. <laughs> Kung Amerikano, wag natin sabihin magkano. Tutuyon. Yes, Sabi niya sa akin, if that's the case, Barry Pistanio, we will support more Filipinos. Five hundred dollars sa isang taon at kalahati one hundred fifty. Sabi niya, Amerikano, isang ay di na lang masisira sila. Baka isumbong niyo pa ako. Baka maging bago na ang global missions director ngayon. Bago na, baka bukas ang eleksyon. O ngayon, mari ngayon. Kasi conference America ngayon, mga batid. Kasabay natin ang Mother Church. Kaya kita ko na, salamat sa mga kapatid. No? Wala talagang umalis. Kahit yung iba, tinukuran na na, toothpick yung matay. Walang umalis, kahit pagod. Because you are being inspired by the Spirit of God. Kaya huwag tayong gumaya sa iba. Atin ang ibang seminar, 10,000 ng bayan, 7,000. Walang sinabing mahal. Pero pag sa ating gawain, 500 lang, 2,000. Ang mahal naman yan. That's a wrong spirit. We need to support and patronize our own fellowship. Clap your hands to the Lord. Come on. Do it for the glory of the Lord. Shout for the glory of God. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. The word of God and the power of God are both essential. Please, when you preach the word of God, preach it with truth and with power and with anointing. I preached last Sunday during our communion for the glory of God. Relying on the anointing. Just rely on the anointing. Because when you ra- rely on the anointing of God, you will experience wonderful things. And listen to this. When you rely on the anointing of the Spirit, you will worship the Lord properly. And that hits the crowd. What's the proper worship in the Lord? Book of Psalms says, Make a joyful noise in the Lord. I am here telling you, when you make a joyful noise, that is proper. Come on, preachers. That is proper. What else? This is relying on the anointing. Anong sabi na Bible? Clap your hands, holy people. What else? And shout unto God with a voice of praise. That is proper. Now, if that is proper, Please don't 
be offended. Kung may proper, Pastor Picar, mayroong mga improper. Ano yung mga improper? That is improper. You are insulting the king. Come on, do you hear me? We are not here to insult the king. But we are here to bless the king. Bless the Lord, all my soul. And all that is within me. All that is within me. Bless the Lord, all my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Come on. That is proper in the presence of God. Bakit? Bakit pinipigilan niyo ang inyong sigaw? Shout unto the Lord with a voice of praise. Don't lose the art of worship. Don't lose the art of your praise because my God and your God inhabits the praises. Church, listen, listen. When a sister at the back speak in tongues louder and not the, so loud rather I told the church, that is proper. And some of us, they are allowed to come to church going home without speaking in tongues. What's the problem? Even in this summit, what's the problem? Namimili lang ba ang Diyos paglinggo? Namimili ba lang ang Diyos kung Holy Ghost explosion? No! This is our time! Let's do it properly! Let's give it to God. We can shout to the Lord. We can praise Him. We can give our best worship and praise properly. That's why we need the anointing of the Lord. Come on, give your best shout. Come on, give your best praise. Come on, give your best worship. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it properly in the Holy Ghost. Rely God's anointing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, young preachers. If you want to come to the altar, come running. Come on, hallelujah. Yes, you can come. You can come and give your proper worship to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lie, yes. Some of the greatest sinners have appeared to turn into the a real saints because of God's power. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, Apostolic Church of the United Pentecostal Church. Don't rely on man's wisdom, but rely on the power of the Holy Spirit. Rely on the power of your anointing tonight. God has given you the anointing. Please rely on your anointing. 
Hallelujah. Let's do it properly. Let's do it properly in the eyes of God. Raise your hands to the Lord. Come on, raise your hands, somebody, and worship God and receive the blessing of the anointing. Receive the blessing of the anointing and allow the Holy Spirit, amen, to speak in utterance as the Spirit gives you the utterance. It is the power of the Holy Spirit that makes the kingdom happen. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Yes! Yes! 